What's up, YouTube? My name is Speed, and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown! And today, are you ready? We're back in the RU tier once again! Got this fun DPPOU plus Volcanion team from Attack on Samurott on my Discord server, so thank you very much. It's really crazy to think that uh, all, all of these Pokemon, apart from this uh, Volcanion, uh, used to be OU back in the day of uh, DPP, but uh, now they are all the way in the RU tier. They are just not uh, making the cut uh, today in the hyper-offensive metagame that we we have. So um, they're in the RU instead. Um, what is my opponent going to lead with? Maybe Cobalion? Maybe... Scarf Zarud, maybe Seismito to set up uh, Stealth Rock? Huh. Trick, Iron Ball, and Metagross. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Maybe I'll just go with Scarf Flygon. Good old trusty Choice Scarf uh, Flygon. Here we go. Uh, well, it is the Seismic Toad, so U turn out, going to Rose Raid. Mmm, he's gonna set up Stealth Rock, right? Yep. And my response is. Maybe Sleep Powder. He's not gonna go into Zarud, right? Yeah. He goes into Zarud! I could have just gone for, like, Sludge Bomb. What are you going to do? Darkest Lariat? Mm. This team actually doesn't really... Doesn't have a single wall. Well, Canyon has... A little bit of bulk. But like... Yeah, this team doesn't really have a... It's more of a hyper-offensive team, so... My opponent is playing around... My obvious move so well. So well. Gonna go for Sleep Powder. And he has Taunt. Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. So now I can touch this uh, Cobalion. But what I can do... Oh, well that wasn't a good play on my part. Because now he's just gonna outspeed me. Does he knock me out with CC? No, he doesn't. A little bit of HP on this guy. It does come to... Play right here. Imagine if uh, this thing didn't have heavy duty boots. 19%. Easy one hit KO from uh, after taking stealth rock damage. So, um, is he just going to. I could just save this Volcanion from a Thunderbolt. Going to Flygon. Smart. My opponent is playing so well. He's optimizing every single move that he makes. Um, I kind of want to defog, so I will, but it's going to be the Seismic Toad once again, so he's just going to uh, reset his uh, Stealth Rock, but at least it uh, gives me a free switch in to probably Roserade. Nope. <laughs> Go straight for the Earth Power. Man, this, this guy is like light years ahead of me, making all the right moves. I like it. He's a good, really good player. Um, do a sleep powder now. Or maybe I pressure him with spikes. He goes into Entei this time around. Going for a sludge bomb would have been decent. This thing is timid. Are there any jolly Entei's around? Are they still adamant? I know back in the day, the only way to have Flare Blitz on it would be to run Adamant Nature. It was locked into... Flare Blitz Entei was locked into that one. But now it's carrying a Sacred Fire. I think I'm faster. I'm not. Is he Scarfed? I guess he could be. Well, anyways, I, I guess... Hmm. I don't know if he's choice or, or not. I'm a DD and probably Outrage. 
on the seismic toad. Hmm. Obviously cannot go for liquidation. He's most likely water absorb. He's got earth power. I'm a sub once. Kind of scout. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I have Lumberry, but free sub is a free sub, man. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, go for another one. No fairy types. I guess I should have gone for a plus two. Does he. If he's got a. I don't know. A random scarfer like Zarud would outspeed me, but I'm at 75%. Is Raikou scarfed? Well, we'll have to find out. Nope, it's not. <laughs> so it actually goes down. <laughs> and the Lumberry kicks me out of the confusion. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. Um, is Zarud going to knock me out from this range? I'm just outrage. He's not scarfed, but he lives. He does live, but he does not knock me out. He's leftovers, so he's one of those jungle healing bulk upsets, so maybe not. Hmm. Okay, well, I knock him out anyway, so that doesn't matter. Kingdra is putting in the work. Apart from this Entei with, um, I'm just gonna stay in, go for liquidation. He's got the extreme speed, of course. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking he's banded. Not entirely certain, though. What if I go into Lucario? Set up. Maybe I'll go into Metagross. Hmm. I could go for the, uh... Let's do it. Ah, uh, he's not choice. But he doesn't knock me out either, so that works out. And now for my next trick. Ooh, do I want Stealth Rock for the Noiburn? Does that help me? I don't think so. But what I can do is just <laughs> explode. <laughs> I haven't seen Explosion in such a long time. Especially in uh, Gen 8, because it's not really seen. So I'm a U-turn here, knock him out, and uh, then I can... I'll probably just, uh, you know, go for uh, extreme speed here with Lucario. Get in a little bit of uh, extra damage. Finish it off with my uh, Scarf Flygon. He's go, he goes for Hurricane, and he misses. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just go for Extreme Speed. That's uh, solid damage. He doesn't even uh, knock me out, so... I guess I could have gone for Meteor Match, but he could have missed, so... Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Man, Kingdra put in a lot of work. Although, like, one thing I don't really like about this Kingdra is that it's carrying the damp ability. That was kind of strange. Maybe I should change that. Hmm. That's something I, I did kind of notice, so... Because I don't really know if it comes to play. Like, I think this Metagross is the only Metagross currently... <laughs> yeah, currently in the game that has, like, explosion because you rarely see it, so... And rain teams are pretty common, so... There we go. But that was... That Kingdra put in some work. That was really awesome to see, so... Let's uh, let's go ahead and look for another match. Because, like, the Swift Swim could definitely help with rain teams that are really, really common. But you rarely see anything with, like, Explosion or, like, Aftermath. There's few moves, other moves that the Damp... Let's, let's actually see. What does Damp prevent? Explosion? Mind Blown? That's the Blacephalon move. Then Misty Explosion, Self-Destruct, Aftermath. Yeah. 
I think Swift Swim would be better. Because you're gonna... You're bound to run into some rain teams in the RU. So... Like, you can just set up one DD and probably be faster than a lot of your opponent. Otherwise, you're, you'll just get outsped. So... Now we got Swift Swim. Anyways... Leads for this matchup. I'm thinking Metagross... Or maybe this guy. Incineroar. Hmm. Maybe I actually want to leave with Volcanion. I mean, that matches up well against both. And it doesn't care about Intimidate. I thought about Flygon, but like... In these cases, like... Yeah, Volcanion is the way to go. There's no Seismitoad, so... I'm gonna just go straight for the... Steam Eruption. Is he AV? He might be. I can still just spam this move. He has really no safe switch-ins. Sharpedo is definitely not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> um, well, I don't really have safe switch-ins from like Crunch followed by Waterfall being outsped by everything, so... Does he knock me out? If he's life or probably Crunch will knock me out, so... Just gonna go for a good old Steam Eruption. As he has Destiny Bone. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. I think it's a fine trade. Is he gonna go back into Incineroar? Hmm... I will go into Rosary try to put something to sleep. As he goes into Metagross. There we go. Sleep Powder that land. That is excellent. My opponent has, however, burned the first turn of sleep. So how do I take advantage of it? Set up spikes, maybe? It would help against Incineroar if it's not Heavy Duty Boots. I'm just thinking it's AV because it lived the... Uh, Steam eruption from freaking Volcanion. 376. Special attack must be. It has to be. I'm gonna set up one layer of spikes. As he does wake up. Goes for Zen Head, but he does have it. So he does knock me out, and that's pretty bad. Going to fly, go on. U turn right away. On the switch into Togekiss. There we go. So that was kind of a bad trade-off. But this team is kind of hyper-offensive, so like... Don't really have any... Like, what, what would I switch into a Zen Headbutt? My own Metagross, but he could have er Earthquake. So... There's that. Hmm. I really want to trick him. Let's go for it. He goes for D. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect, because now I can spam Earthquake. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And... I'm going to set up a Stealth Rock now. As he goes into Umbreon. This is great. This is great. If he is AV, which I'm definitely thinking he is. Like, um... I got Heavy Duty Boots. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. He's gonna be taking Stealth Rock, and I can Earthquake him. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can go into Lucario, I guess. Hmm. Or I could explode. Meteor Mash. Do I need Metagross for something? I mean, it's a good switch into Togekiss, I guess. I feel like this foul play is still going to hurt. Oh, he's gonna try to wish pass. But what are you trying to pass to? Well, if you're going to Incinera, I'm just gonna SD. <laughs> Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh, he's Iron Balled. He's not gonna be outspeeding anything, so... 90% accurate. 
Let's go for it. Get a boost, get a boost, get a boost. Oh! <laughs> I get a boost! I get a boost. What are you going to do? Fire Fang? He could be Scarf, though. That's... I'm at plus three. Oh, I'm at plus three! I knock him out! That thing has massive amounts of HP, but I still knock him out. I still knock him out. CC, get out of here! Get out of here! What a turn of events! Man! Man! <laughs> Just CC, knock out the Umbreon for the game! Damn! This team is putting in the work! Let's go ahead and uh, look for another match. Alrighty, we are back with another match. Ooh, Gigalith, Steelix, Scrafty. Hmm. Don't see uh, especially Scrafty too often, so that's pretty cool. Leads, Steelix, Gigalith. Uh, what else? Let's just go with Metagross. Maybe trick something. Or maybe just Meteor Mash. I'm pretty sure I'm still faster. <laughs> even with the... Even with the Iron Ball, so... I'm gonna just go for the Meteor Mash. Let's get a boost. Oh! <laughs> Another one! Another one! Oh my goodness. Do I wanna... Maybe I wanna Stealth Rock now. He's gonna go into Steelix. I can't really take advantage of it. In this situation, I would wish that I had Earthquake, because plus one EQ would do quite a bit. But no such luck. Um, and he's probably going to Earthquake, and I don't really have good switching for that. What I could try to do... Although what I'm currently fearing is that he's going to be one of those... Like, Iron Defense things. Or would he Earthquake? I'm gonna try to pivot into Volcanion by going to Flygon on the EQ first. What? A DD st <laughs> A DD Steelix, really? And now he's gonna be able to get another one. Oh no! This is actually bad. Um, is he jolly max speed? Well, now he's gonna... He's gonna take everything out. <laughs> oh, no. He switches out. Okay. Like, I'm actually really scared because... This is a really offensive team again. So, like, I have no walls. This team doesn't have a single wall. Well, Canyon has a little bit of bulk. But, like, if Steelix gets a couple of Dragon Dances, that's really bad. That's really, really bad. He gets an attack drop on me. And this thing... I, I feel like this thing could be DD as well. Hmm. I have no good switch-ins. I'll try to go into Volcanion and go for a Steam Eruption or something. Goes for the Ice Punch. Okay. Well, it does... It does make sense against the Flygon, but... Um, I guess I'll just Steam Eruption. Maybe I want to go for Toxic, expecting the Milotic. Maybe that would be fun. Okay, this thing is going to go for a DD too. Okay, let's go for a Steam Eruption. Hopefully he's not running... <coughs> yeah, that's right. He's not running the shed skin. Because he's obviously uh, intimidated. So, there we go. I kind of want to save this Volcanion. But at the same time, like... Nothing really wants to take a knockoff. And he can just kind of go for it. Although I could go into Lucario, I guess. And he goes for Drain Punch. Oh, that was so dumb on my part. Of course, he's going to switch up to, like, Drain Punch. But what I can do, which is kind of smart, is going to Flygon, right? But does Earthquake 
certainly Earthquake will... Oh. It doesn't knock him out. It does not knock him out. But the Toxic will. Well, that was a, that was a waste. That was a big waste. Um, I feel like Groserade matches up well against everything. So... Let's just go into it. I should be... Faster than everything, pretty much. Unless there's a random jolly... Uh, Drapion. So, I can put everything to sleep. In comes the Araquanid. I'm definitely faster than you. Um... Is it sleep powder time? I think it is. Put him to sleep. Go from there. Maybe I'll have to... Oh, I miss. That's bad. Here comes the sticky web. Well, let's go for a sleep powder. While I'm still faster than most of things. Set up one spikes. Or one spike, rather. There we go. He does get... He does get two turns of uh, sleep, so that's good. I can go for a leaf storm, I guess, I suppose. Hmm. Does it knock him out? Goes into Trapeon. Oh, well, this should do a good chunk. There we go. But now, with the special attack drop, not gonna do it. I have a feeling that this is like SD. Hmm. Can Metagross survive? No, but it's not gonna outspeed. This is definitely an issue. And he's still asleep, so I cannot put this guy to sleep. I can try to crit this guy. 19, it's still not gonna knock him out. Whirlwind? Okay, so it's more of a support set, I suppose. I could DD to... Or I could just Liquidation. There we go. And he goes for the uh, Toxic, so that works out. Knock him out. I guess I... I probably should have just gone for the DD. But then again, he's got the Milotic, so... What, I, what am I going to do with that? Can I outspeed you? 179. I can try. What is going on here? <laughs> Seriously. He's got triple axel DD Milotic. Triple axel. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Outrage. I'm just gonna outrage. This is outrageous! Yes, it is. I have to do it, but now he can go into Steelix and DD. <laughs> Please get a two turn outrage. I don't. I don't. Oh no. <laughs> but outrage is actually doing a good chunk. Oh no! <laughs> I can try to liquidate him. EQ does knock me out at plus two. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what a crazy game! He's gonna knock everything out with the plus two Steelix. That's what I was saying earlier. Like, I, I cannot deal. I cannot deal with a plus two Steelix with this team. I have no walls. No walls. Maybe the Scar uh, Scar Flygon would have been the answer. It probably would have outsped the uh, Steelix at this point. But like, let's see if Metagross can live plus two EQ. No way. No way it can. There's no way. But I can't do anything. I can try to trick him. <laughs> I guess. I suppose. But yeah, it's not gonna live. No way. This was a this was a really fun match. Crazy DD things on everything, so... Yeah. In the end, Steelix was uh, faster than everything after he uh, took out the Flygon and got up the Sticky Web, so it did definitely work out for him, so... <laughs>
<laughs> that was a crazy match. Crazy match. And we have found another match. I'm really surprised that I haven't run into a rain team today. Like that's why I wanted to change the swift swim to Kingdra. But then again, we haven't run into any explosions or aftermaths any anyway, so it's not like damp makes a difference, but uh, <clears throat> leads. Maybe Crobat to do Taunt and against Cobalion to set up rocks. Um, I would kind of like to maybe trick the Crobat, but I doubt it's gonna happen because, I mean, Crobat doesn't want to deal with Metagross, so... Maybe I'll just go with the Volcanion here. He does leave with Crobat. I don't think he's gonna stay in. He's, he's got a perfectly good Gastrodon there in the back, so... He should go into it. And uh, get the Storm Drain going. And this guy should probably U-turn into it. Here we go, there's the U-turn, and where's my Gastrodon? Here it is! Perfect! Toxic lands. That is amazing. Um, Roserate is my safe uh, switching. Amnesia. Okay, well, you are still poisoned, so... Is this going to be rest? Iron defense? Does Castro get iron defense? Maybe I'll just leave Storm now. Maybe I will. While well, I have the chance. <laughs> it's like, that thing seems scary, especially if it has, like, rest. But I don't know if it gets, like, iron defense and body press. Would that be a set amnesia? Maybe on Reggie Steel, amnesia, iron defense, and body press. Maybe that could be a thing. But no, not, not here. I, I, I don't think so. Anyways, I could sleep powder, but he's got a scary brave bird with my name on it. But he chooses to U-turn once again. That is smart. That is smart. Gonna go into Chandelure, and I have absolutely no switchings to Ghost, so. That's bad. Hmm. Something is gonna go down. And like, if he's Scarf, he's gonna outspeed everything, so I don't just wanna go into like, Volcanion. I feel like Volcanion is really useful later on. But everything gets to a KO'd and he could be Scarf, so... Maybe I could go into Flygon. Do I want to do that? Waste my good Scarfer? Maybe I do. Metacross is good against, uh... Okay, it was Calm Mind. Well, that's that's really good. Um... He probably shouldn't stay in. He should probably just go into... The Crobat once again. Um... Maybe I could... I don't know how this guy plays, like, it's... It's really weird. Amnesia on Gastrodon and Calm Mind on Chandelure, you don't really see that too often. Is he just going to... Is he just going to U-turn once again? Yep. <laughs> and he crits me. Well, he gets even rewarded for it. And now he can go back into Crobat. I really need to, like, trick this Crobat or something. <laughs> But it's much easier to switch on a Gastrodon, so he's either gonna go back into Crobat, or then he's gonna... I wanna go into Rose Raid, but... Yeah, he might wanna set up once again. Okay, he's gonna recover, so now I'm not really too scared. Um... I'm gonna Sleep Powder the Crobat. Or Registeel. Okay, that works. And lots of switchings uh, going on here, so let's go ahead and uh, set up a little spike here. What was he expecting there? I have no idea. Let's find out if the uh, Crobat has a... Uh... What? Are you just going to 
give up this gastrodon? Um, if you are, I will take it. There we go. There's one last thing for Flygon to worry about. Because Flygon is not one KOing that thing, so... Yeah. Are you just going to Iron Head me? The Reggie still is asleep, so... Can't go for Sleep Powder again. CC... Guess I could just go into Metagross on the Iron Head. Rock Polish. Okay, we'll need to trick you. SD. Oh, oh dear. And he's got Rocky Helmet. Um, do I just want to explode on him? Or am I going to get swept? Iron Ball is going to get him back to neutral, right? I'm going to Stealth Rock here. I'm going to Stealth Rock here. There we go. Oh, nice, 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 nice. I'm gonna explode. He might want to go for uh, rock polish again, but he doesn't. So now he's definitely in a range where Flygon. Do I have to go into Flygon? I think I do. Because he's 46. Cut down to half, so he's back to 46, right? Yeah, it has to be Flygon. Hmm. I'm just scared of the Crobat once again, but I I don't want to risk it. I don't want to take any risks with this Cobalion, otherwise I am still going to lose to it. He's heavy duty boots, he's probably going to uh, defog here. Hmm. Maybe I'll go into my other Steel type in Lucario. As he goes for the Brave Bird! Well, that didn't end up too well. There goes one late game win condition. I'm, uh, extreme speed. I want some damage on you. As I actually don't go down. Ah, uh, he's at 8%. Ah, what do I want to do? Well, I could steam erupt now. I don't think U-turn is going to knock him out. It might. Uh, do I want to go into King Try and DD at this point? Volcanion. Maybe I want to go into Kingdra. Maybe I do want to go into Kingdra. Go for a DD here as he Brave Birds, knocks himself out. The Reggie still is asleep, so that is pretty amazing, especially coupled with these spikes and Stealth Rock. I can start going for the Liquidation. He does have clear body, however. But at this point, I can... I'm pretty sure I can Earthquake spam. So let's just go for Liquidation. Let's see if he gets the second turn, or rather first turn wake he does. Goes for the body press, but most importantly, he doesn't get any any sort of uh, boosts. Um, Milotic. If I go into if I go into Volcanion, he can go into Milotic. If I go into Flygon, he can go into Milotic. But with these entry assets, he cannot really switch around too much, so. At least that's good. Um, I can go into Volcanion on a potential Skull, although he could Toxic, but I want to Toxic him. Oh dear. It's Coil. It's Coil! Let's go for the Toxic. I do outspeed him. I think this thing has a little bit of uh, speed investment. <clears throat> so that does come to play, which is good. Dragon Pulse. I could just go into Rose Raid, actually. Yeah, let's let's do that. Because I can definitely take a Dragon Pulse. The Rose Raid is bulky enough, even though this one doesn't have uh, too much investment. And, uh... 
He's got that weird Calm Mind Chandelure in the back, so... Let's just uh, Leaf Storm here. Knock out that uh, Myelotic. And he is definitely carrying the thing. Do I just want to go into... Let's just go for the Sleep Powder. Let's make it land! Let's make it land. Going to fly going. This is risky though. He does stay asleep, so there we go. Win the game. Boom! Knock him out. Nice. That is the match, and we will look for one more game. Here we go. Last match of the day. And we actually did not run into a single uh, rain team, so I'm proud of the RU tier. No rain teams today. It's a sunny day. What is my opponent going to lead with? Uh, Flygon or maybe Darmanitan? Hmm. Hmm. Well, Canyon wouldn't be bad. I'll go with Volcano. If, if it's Darmanitan, then... And if it's Flygon, I can pivot out into my own Flygon, I feel like. So... Leads with Reuniclus. Okay, I'm gonna go straight for the Steam Eruption. And I'm gonna miss. And he's gonna... He's gonna calm mine. Oh. 95. 95% <laughs> accurate. Let's get a crit. 32. Well, that sucks. Guess I could try to explode on him. I... I... And he's got iron defense. I mean, what do I do? I guess I can try to... <laughs> but even critting him at this point is like... Meteor Mash is probably gonna do like, maybe 70% or... I'm gonna look I'm gonna look for one more match. Okay. I mean it was tough to deal with a reuniclus like that, but that was still re donkulous. Here we go. The true final match of the day. Let's see. I think he's gonna leave with Metagross. I would probably lead with Metagross, or then a Scarf thing, Circuitry, but it's fine if he... Okay, better Skira. Well, that's, that's fine too. Um, I believe I'm free to go for a Steam Eruption. Yeah, I mean, Zarud is probably not going to want to switch in, so... I can take one hit. Like, Close Combat is probably the strongest move you have to hit me with, so... That's fine. Poison jab. He's really <laughs> not this again. No. What is wrong, Volcanion? What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Please burn him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Arceus. Um. Well, that was a what a waste. What a waste. Does he... He gets the poison. He gets the poison. <laughs> oh, dear. And now he has worn me down to a point where he can... Knock me out with anything, pretty much. But, like, I don't have... I don't really have good switch-ins. I'm just gonna stay in. 
He's got Seed Bomb. I guess he doesn't... He, he really doesn't want to miss, so... I can understand that. Um... Is he choice, though? I could go into Rose Raid, put something to sleep. I could go into Metagross. I mean, Flygon with... Flygon is really good. I can just go for a U-turn. And get keep the momentum going that way. And he's four times weak to U-turn, so let's just be smart about it. Let's be smart. He has scarfed himself. Well, that's, that's good, but he's gone now, so... Like, I can definitely take a Seed Bomb, so no worries there. And the critical hit does take him out. It probably did matter. He probably would have lived with like 10, 20%, something like that, so. But I'll take it. His Scarfer, which was faster than my Scarfer, is now gone. And I guess I can try to go into Metagross to maybe do some shenanigans. Although it's probably going to lure out Chandelure, so that's that That was bad. I, 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 I... I Hmm. Maybe I should have gone into like Kingdra. That would have lured out. I don't know. Maybe Metagross. Maybe. Yeah. This is bad. Um. I have no switch-ins. I will just go for trick. And I kind of have a feeling that this guy is Specs. But I have no switch-ins again, so... This time around, he has no switch-ins for Earthquakes since the Zarud is gone. Although I guess Glastrier is one. So now it really sucks having no Metagross. But he does lose his uh, Chandelure, so we're kind of trading our Pokémon here. But what is Glastrier going to do? If it doesn't have Trick Room, I'm not... I'm not too worried about it. I will go into Lucario, although I don't like it. He does go for Avalanche. Okay. Avalanche gets double the power if you hit it during the turn, right? But I can go for uh, close combat here. I'm not living ahead from this Glastrier. He could have high horsepower, close combat. So, gotta play aggressive here. Not uh, waste time trying to uh, set up, so... He's got leftovers. Yeah, I can just outspeed him. If he has Bullet Punch, I can live that. It's not that strong. Because he doesn't have a boosting item. And I still resist it even at minus one, so... That works out. Um, hmm... Do I want to save this, uh... Lucario for the Glastrier? I kind of do. I kind of do. So, just gonna go into Roserade. I'm always paranoid about everything being Scarfed. But this thing could be Scarfed. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. So, there we go. Knock him out. And now I should be able to finish off the... Glastrier, easy enough. It's not going to be able to set up Trick Room or anything, so... There we go. Gonna bring out the Lucario like I I was uh, planning to. Glastrier is really bulky, so... You gotta be... You definitely need to be careful when playing around it, so it doesn't get out of hand. Like, I feel like it's a good early game sweeper, because, you know, it can spawn some hits and maybe get out of hand, so... There is that, but that will be the game. Some fun shenanigans were definitely had today. So thanks to Attack on Samurot for this uh, DPP-esque uh, team. It was uh, definitely, uh, definitely fun. Kind of looking forward to what the uh, remakes of the Diamond and uh, Pearl are going to be like. Uh, competitively. Like, are they going to have most of the Pokemon, like Sword and Shield, or is it that just the Pokemon up to that point, or maybe it's gonna be more like, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, and have like a really 
a limited roster of Pokemon. We shall see. We shall see. But anyways, that's it for today. So thank you again so much uh, for watching. And uh, until next time, the Spade Rambling and signing out. Peace.